hi guys so now we are going to learn LDAP in this video so first of all welcome everyone in talented developer please subscribe my channel so you will get notification of all the latest video so first of all what is LDAP LDAP is stand for lightweight directory access protocol mainly like it will provide you to give authentication and authorization so we can say like it is an application protocol for querying and modifying items in directory services so LDAP is mainly simplification of the x.500 directory access protocol that was used to give access directory information a directory is essentially a special proposed database optimization to handle the identity related things it will always have a hierarchy and a structure so what kind of a structure like I will show to you so you can see this is the things I am showing to you currently you can imagine here just imagine ABC is my company name like I am having a IT company in IT company we are having different different of branch so first is like one is developer one is business team and another one is finance team in developer side we are also having some other department like backend full stack all kinds of developer in backend also we are having some developer that name is like here you can see I am showing here John address is India and phone number is something like in business team also we are having some peoples in finance also we are having some different different from branch like account cheap accounts all the things so this is a overall structure of LDAP but we have to understand how we can use and how we can enhance these things to the our lightweight directory access protocol so first imagine here this is your organization name always is top level hierarchy is known as organization so my organization name is ABC okay it having some sub categories that name is organization unit like second level so first level is organization organization name is ABC he having some department department name is known as organization unit so you can see in this diagram currently we are having three different categories like organization unit one is developer one is business and another one is them finance so I want to give you a reminder like always in LDAP we have to use some terms terms in the name like shortcut so CN CN means common name SN means surname DN means distinguished name O means organization name OU organization unit DN distinguished name and user user can belongs to a initialization of organization person or group of unique name so if you want to know how we can create a LDAP please see your right side I am showing some tutorial already I have given to you so see first level is organization next level is organization unit okay if you are having again sub unit so we can say like again organization unit after that we are having some people people name is known as attribute so last level is attributes before that organization unit again organization one unit is there and after that on top hierarchy we are having organization suppose I want to call this name this name is John so if you want to get the information about this guy how we can get for getting this one we have to use some things like likewise you can see here his name is John so he is the attributes so he having some common name so common name is John Mark and he belongs which organization unit is backend so I given here backend and he belongs to which other sub categories like organization unit yes he will belongs to developer group so I given here developer and now he belongs to which organization his name is ABC so always remember if you are going to call this guy name always start from lower end so lower end means like attributes attributes means like he having some information like name address phone number and other details so whenever you want to call this guy you have to use common name SN like surname that's why already has shown you this kind of term we are using in here so you can see common name is here John Mark he belongs to backend so that's why we are given organization unit is backend and he also belongs to organization unit developer and mainly he belongs to organization name is ABC okay so this is a normal flow of one thing and other one is like I want to explain you so here 
you can see this is your company company name I already given like initial last example ABC and if he having some other branch like subcategory so his name is organization unit he is also organization unit so one organization unit containing the name is users users means like it will contain all the group of person so imagine in one company we are having 10 people okay 10 people uh, in 10 people we are having five developers so one developer can a play in the role of like team lead he can also play a role of normal developer and he can also become a CEO so one person can perform different different of operations so here you can see here groups groups means like it will contain all the sub branches here we are having one group name is admin okay admin so this guy is like this in this category organization unit, unit we are having all the groups of person this name is Ram this name is like Mark this guy name is like Sonia so he can be combined into one groups so if you are calling this guy in the basis of unique member so what is unique member so unique member so this guy's name is Ram okay so here see how we'll call this guy CN is Ram and he belongs to organization unit users and organization name is company so similarly if you are calling this guy as a unique member that means group of unique name it will always contain the group of unique name so if you want to know more about unique member please see my next video already I have uploaded you can see in your right side right top the top inside so unique members it will always having containing the group of unique names this is a way and this is a structure it will always you have to follow your st structure the another thing is like how many types of LDAP authentication is currently people are using so currently we are using three but mainly people known about only two things first one name is simple next one name is SASL so how simple is working in simple what we are doing the simple authentication method has the LDAP client have to send the username and the password to LDAP server then LDAP server looks up the object with the username in the directory compare with the password provided by like whatever password we have given then if it is correct then it will give you authority okay you can having authority to access so you can easily go and access any file or any services whatever you have provided another is one like SASL so what it will do it will bind more involved and it is like so much more authentication also and allow the client and server to negotiate a particular authentication mechanism which they after that they will use the LDAP connection so LDAP connection will play important role between them so how LDAP is working to access the LDAP services first of all LDAP client must authenticate itself to the services if I am having like a Facebook application okay you want to use my application so first of all you have to authenticate yourself if you are authorized and if you are given authorization and authentication so you can access my application like a Facebook otherwise I will not give you authority to access so that's why it must tell the LDAP server who is going to accessing the data to the server that can decide what kind of client going to see and what kind of stuff you are in your app application you are having so many branches or so many different different of categories and you want to show only some particular things to the some user so what will what you can do you can create one LDAP server okay in LDAP server you can give some authorization okay this guy can see only this file okay that guy can see whole file so in CO CO can see whole things of your website but you want to give some authentication to only developer like he can see only this particular file so you can definitely go for LDAP so LDAP is very good way for authentication and please you can see other videos and please subscribe my channel thank you guys